Hey guys! So I thought today we would do another makeup tutorial type video and I am actually showing up with makeup on my face this time. Because today we are going to do a gender swap and I thought you should see me first as a girl with full makeup on. We're going to take it off and look like a guy, hopefully. I'm just being silly and me. So first of all we're going to put our hair back in a ponytail or a bun. Putting my bangs off to the side and I kind of look like a 90s teen heartthrob. Remember Leonardo DiCaprio and Titanic? Yeah, those type of bangs. Then I'm going to take these makeup wipes by Yes to Blueberries. They are my absolute favorite ones because they do not burn my eyes like the other brands do. And I'm going to take my makeup off. I thought it would be cool if I take one side off first so you could see me without makeup on and with makeup on on the other side. Look at all that gunk on that wipe. Ugh. But yeah, then we're going to just take all of that off. So we are going to use a matte bronzing powder that's good for our skin tone. This one's a perfect one for lighter skin tones. It is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. And if you can't get this one, there's a whole bunch of e.l.f. products and Wet n Wild bronzers that are really good as well. Now I'm just going to take a fluffy crease or blending brush and pop that bronzer into the sockets of my eye and do the same thing to the other eye. And then I'm going to take this light brown eyeliner pencil and put it in the inner quarter near my eye, sweeping it up to near my eyebrow and blending that in with my finger or a brush. And then using that same bronzer color, I am going to take a fluffy contour brush or a blush brush, whichever one you have at hand. And we're going to contour the sides of our face because guys have like their heads bigger than ours most definitely. So you're going to sweep that above your temples on your forehead just on the sides of it. It. Picture where the arch of your eyebrow usually is and sweep it up to your hairline. And from our temples, we're going to sweep that on our cheeks. It's actually going to go down to your jawline because this is going to gradient into where we're going to put the stubble of a man's unshaven face. Not unshaven, like a five o'clock shadow. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word. But do not put contour right in the center of your chin because we want that to show up more look like it's sticking out more than the rest of the sides of our chin, line, and face. Now we're going to take a Maybelline Matte Brown. This is an eyebrow color that's discontinued, but you can use a matte brown eyeshadow. It's buildable and it's a light brown, like an ashy brown, so it looks more natural. And I'm just applying that over my natural brows with the angled eyeshadow brush. But we are going to do our brows thicker and more closer towards the inside of our nose, but without causing a unibrow. Because men, they have thicker eyebrows and it goes more straight across. You're going to want to kind of delete and cancel out the arch of your eyebrow if you are a girl doing this. Oh, of course. You don't want it to look like giant caterpillars on your face and you also don't want it to look like it was shaved thin. Somewhere in between there, find your middle ground. And then I also put in that same light brown eyeliner pencil in there and drag across marks to kind of replicate small hairs and do a darker brown pencil on top of that. And then we're just going to do the same thing on the other eyebrow. And I don't know if this applies to the guys, but when us girls do our eyebrows, we want them to look like sisters, not identical twins. I think that's the rule of thumb. I don't know how it is with guys. I'm just doing whatever's. Now for the fun part, we're going to create a 5 o'clock shadow like I talked about before. And we are going to use this matte brown, kind of an ashy brown on the lighter side eyeshadow color on a very large fluffy eyeshadow brush, whichever one you have. Pat that on there and apply it where your 5 o'clock shadow stubble on a man's face should be. Like halfway between your jawline and your cheekbones. Maybe you should Google images of men. That might sound weird especially if someone walks in on you, but I think I googled like Ryan Gosling and Joseph Gordon-Levitt because those are the popular attractive men's. And like in between you can use a baby wipe on the side to cancel out mistakes that you think you've done or like a makeup remover wipe because honestly we haven't put on face makeup so there's no like way you could really screw it up as bad. Now I'm just taking a very 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 small eyeliner brush and tapping it in the same color that we did our stubble and doing little dash lines of stubble to make it more realistic hopefully and intricate because naturally guys have some hairs that are thicker than the others when it grows back or or some grows back in patches on their face. It's just what happens, ladies. And we want it to look real as possible. Like you just want to like caress your cheek upon my face and hopefully it feels like stubble. No? 
Now I'm just getting that contour color of the bronzer again and contouring my face even more to give it more depth because I want like the hairline to be darker than the actual gradient to my face. And then I'm taking a dense flat top small eyeshadow brush and putting it in the bronzer and then we're gonna try to make an Adam's apple because we want it to get really real. You can use that light brown eyeliner pencil depending on your skin color. Of course you would get darker eyeliner pencils or maybe even like a really dark brown eyeliner pencil or even like a blackish brown eyeliner pencil depending on your skin color of course. I am just pasty Casper the Friendly Ho White. And we're gonna put that on our collarbones to give our chest not that pasty dead look. We want it to look like we've been a little bit kissed by the sun and haven't been sitting around the house and just playing video games all day. Just a little bit. You know the ladies, they like sun-kissed skin, I think. Yeah, we like that, right? Yeah. Now just blend that all in. You don't want it to look like a tumor growing from your neck or a goiter. You want it to look like, you know, that there's an actual like lump of an Adam's apple and not a twin spouting from your neck. And you don't want it to look like a hickey either. Now I'm just taking that light brown eyeliner pencil and defining the sides of my nose again. Honestly, this is the part where I'm kind of creeping myself out and I look like I'm a different nationality kind of. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. And then I draw a little bit of a forehead, not wrinkle, but a frown mark, just so that it will draw attention to like the eyebrow section because guys, of course, like I told you, if you look at a man's skull, it will be slightly bigger and it will have a protruding more of a brow bone than us women do. So I want the eyes to attract there and say, hey, look at my eyebrows. They are more masculine now, right? Yeah, we're faking it. And then I just put a little like dash on my chin in the middle like I didn't tell you to do before but I'm telling you to do it now because we're going to do a slight butt chin. Now I'm just taking that same matte brown eyeshadow that I used for my stubble and like putting that on my finger and darkening in the gradient of my contour on my hairline. I think I'm hitting on myself in the mirror. Now we're going to take that matte brown eyebrow eyeshadow type color that we use for our eyebrows and make our sideburns and then you're gonna layer on the same type of eyeliner as you did with your eyebrows. I mean you can make these look humongous as possible and like connect to your stubble or even if you want to do a full beard although I think that will look kind of messy with all of makeup that's why I did stubble instead but do whatever you want and have fun. Now I'm just gonna smile really creepily and take this light brown eyeliner pencil that I've been using and put it into where I think I would have dimples because guys with dimples it's pretty nice. Now I'm just taking that same eyeshadow color I used for the stubble and darkening in the edge of it to make my jawline more defined. Taking more bronzer to make my chest look a little darker to match my face since we did so much bronzing and contour on the face. I don't want my chest to look pasty white and not match. Now I'm just taking some matte face powder because I thought I was looking a little shiny and we don't want our man to look like super oily and greasy. See, I'm still acting like a girl even though I'm supposed to be a guy. Just taking the light brown eyeliner pencil and defining the sides of my nose some more. Now I'm just taking a darker brown eyeliner pencil with a very, very light hand and doing little dash marks of stubble and blending it in with my fingers. Now to make our hair not look like a ponytail of a girl that we just pinned back, I decided to take this random beanie that I took from my brother actually. I think it's a really good touch of not only hiding your hair if you don't know how to make your hair look like a guy's, but I think it brings more attention to your face and makes people really look at your face and the work you did. And since we still have boobs, I decided to try to hide it and I took this random plaid long sleeve button down shirt from my brother as well and decided to put that on. See if I look more like a man. Cuff up the sleeves and make it look like you actually did some hard work instead of just sitting here putting makeup on your face. Yeah. We need to do the usual finger pose. And before I forget this little part, I just noticed that I needed to put some extra stubble under my lip area because guys do grow hair there too. And look at me checking myself out in the mirror. I'd go on a date with me. So I hope you guys like this finished look and you didn't get as creeped out like I did. I just had some random fun just staring at myself and I sent it to one of my friends as kind of a prank and they got creeped out too and probably thought I was just as weird as you guys do now. But this is what I would look like if I was a guy. I kind of look like a younger, not so attractive Colin Farrell mixed with Bam from Jackass. 
I kind of look like a lumberjack trying to be a hipster. I probably look like a really conceited man. Okay, now I'm totally getting she's the man type vibes. Poor Amanda Bynes. And I couldn't stop cracking myself up. <laughs> So I hope you guys like this and what I would like to know today is if you were of the opposite gender for one day, what would you do? Leave me in the comments below also any suggestions on what type of upcoming makeup tutorials you guys would like. I will always be talking to you on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and I love you all. Bye.